All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday night, November 23rd, 2024, about 9.47 p.m. California time here. Latest activity out on the Earthquake 3D globe shows, uh, looks like a little 1.3 in the Alaska area. A little bit of new movement happening out here since this morning's update across the uh, area off on the southeastern portion here of the uh, Pacific Plate. Also down south here of New Zealand. Got a little bit of movement cracking down there across the area for a 5.1. So things are uh, adjusting accordingly down here across the southern hemisphere of the planet. New Zealand still waiting on some activity there. So far they have yet to fill in for some further adjustment. Uh, really not a whole lot of newer activity here across this watch area. Uh, we've seen a lot of activity bouncing back and forth here recently over across Papua New Guinea and deeper activity across the Tonga Trench with very minimal earthquake activity in between. But uh, I expect that to fill in here pretty soon. All right, let's check out California, see what's going on out here across the West Coast. There's that older activity out there from this morning in the uh, Blanco Fracture Zone. Aside from that, nothing going on here across the Cascadia. Uh, for now, uh, let me check out the uh, trimmer map out here. See what we have for Cascadia trimmer. It remains at a zero. It's been that way for the past five days or so. As far as the rest of California out here goes, um, mostly smaller microquake activity out here in the last 24 hours. Really nothing of unusual movement. Same goes here for the uh, rest of the country. A little bit of activity way up north into Montana. A couple smaller earthquakes out here around Hog Heaven. Goodness. Um, about five to six miles below the surface for this earthquake activity. Uh, nothing big. It is out there on a, uh, you know, there's a couple different fracture zones out here. Plate, or fault systems, I should say, out around the Lake Mary area. But, uh. Nothing big going on out there for now. Same for the Texas and Oklahoma area. And as we look across the globe here, uh, newer activity down across south of the equator, out across the East Pacific Rise area, and down across the uh, Macquarie Island region. Some of the newer activity out here on the globe. Uh, 5.1 off the coast there of Japan as well. Somewhat recent. Uh, but it looks as though right now the activity has shifted south of the equator. Watch the South America area following the, uh, this activity here across the uh, rift boundary there. Oceanic uh, divergent zone should amplify conditions out here across the Peru-Chile Peru Trench. Uh, let's take a look here at Puerto Rico, see what's going on out here across this area. Got a, a little bit of swarming going on here in the last couple hours with a bunch of three stirring up out here. About 39, uh, 23 miles deep or so underneath this area of the Puerto Rico Trench. Obviously, uh, it is a uh, somewhat of a subduction zone area out here across this region. And uh, this area is not highly strained in terms of stress-related and slip rate accumulation. Uh, so it does take quite a while to produce uh, a big earthquake out here across the Puerto Rico Trench. But who knows when the last one was out here. It's been, uh, I don't know. I, I did a little study on this uh, a couple years ago. And there is mega quake potential out here in terms of seeing uh, something above an 8.0. And, of course, something like that would probably trigger uh, a an Atlantic tsunami out here. Something like we haven't seen in quite a while. Uh, but who knows when the last uh, full rupture took place out here across the Puerto Rico Trench. Um, I can't find any relevant information on that, but uh, I will cover that in another update. But I, I have covered that in the past, so search the uh, channel if you want to check out the uh, uh, a little bit more informative data on that potential. But we got a little swarming going on out there for now. Uh, across the uh, Mediterranean area, let's see what we have out here. Mainly 
smaller microquake activity out there. A little deeper moving out there across the area of Turkey. The Atlantic Ocean pretty quiet for now. Uh, look at the space weather activity as we look at the UV filter of the sun. Shows, uh, well, a couple active areas out here on the eastern limb of the sun. Notice these bright features and these magnetic arches out there indicating uh, a little bit of complexity going on out there across these sunspot regions. Got a very active area down here on the southeastern quadrant of the sun. This area I'm really not too concerned about. More so um, the southern area of the sunspot group. A little bit close proximity compared to this area up here. Also a newer region out there popping off some sea flare activity. So we got uh, a couple different regions to watch here in the coming days. Overall flare threat shows a 15% chance for the X flare. C flare around 60 or uh, C flare around 99% chance. M flare 60. And uh, no major auroras there in the forecast for now, folks. We'll see if we can't get that to change in the coming days for the Aurora watchers. Nothing major in the severe weather department. And a quick glance here at the GFS weather models. We got a little bit more rain coming out here for the California area. Roughly about Monday evening. This is mainly going to be a central uh, California area hit. Northern California getting in on some light rainfall. But uh, Southern California, uh, they're... they're uh, they drew up the short straw here, so not a whole lot of rainfall for Southern California. But Bakersfield area, uh, San Joaquin Valley looking at a little bit of rainfall there. Uh, but aside from that, uh, as we put this into motion here, looks like maybe mainly, uh, mainly a little bit of severe weather here across the uh, Arkansas area into Ohio. As we head into the uh, end of the first week of December, got massive high pressure center out here across the western areas. I'm not liking that one bit. Hopefully it will move, uh, but it looks like it's staying pretty steady out there across the uh, area of southeastern Idaho. But uh, man, I don't like that. I need me some more rainfall. Even though we've had a lot of rainfall out here in California, I want some more. I'm a little bit greedy. When it comes to rainfall, give me more. Uh, there's that uh, little bit of swarming going on there across the Philippines southward, Papua New Guinea area. A lot of this activity from earlier this morning and from yesterday. Uh, there is a seismic gap zone here. Normally, when things go quiet like this between two very active areas along a plate boundary, things will stir up. So uh, I'm still expecting this to stir up in a big fashion here, uh, potentially over the next 24 hours or so. Also keep an eye here on New Zealand. They're in between a lot of activity as well. Seismograph stations out there, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on out there across the, uh, uh, the globe in terms of elevated activity, as of right now that is. Have a good one, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later uh, tomorrow morning for the Sunday morning update. Until then, enjoy your evening and have a uh, good one out there.